Hello and welcome to episode 36 of the Perfect Tower 2. We're gonna start in the laboratory. I wanna update you on my progress here. And next time we'll come here, I'll be 100% done everywhere. But I'm not yet. For instance, the Earth experiment, I'm quite far and super, super slow. I need to put more time in there, but it doesn't make much of a difference anymore in terms of how powerful I am, but I still want to max out everything. So I'll show you what's maxed out and what's not. And of course, we'll look at the factory today, eGem production. And this footage is about 12 days old. And I'll show you today's footage as well. You're going to see the progress I made. So light is close to be done. I do enjoy this one. In fact, I'm about to be able to prestige here. There you go. So I'll prestige and I'm very close to be done with this one. Not this one. This one will take a long time. Uh, I drilled quite a lot. So uh, I'll try to compress this as much as I can. Fire. I'm about to upgrade a bunch of things because I did make a bunch of money. I call it money. Resources. Uh, we're gonna go. I'm still uh, using original notation. I'm used to up to Ventilion. I said that multiple times. And in fact, UVI and DVI, etc. Now I'm used to them, so I guess I'm gonna be stuck with those instead of scientific notation. So uh, I'm just making it kind of even to try to reach 100 and no celsius so all i need now is fire damage my fire resistance is maxed out yeah i'm just stabilizing i'm just gonna go back to slow and safe it happened to me once eh, that i went for the risky part and uh, it resets the whole experiment i forgot it like that this one's the worst this one's the worst psychologically it's not that it's difficult i'm gonna fast forward this so imagine this this is times four okay so I got a, I'm using my auto clicker and I'm uh, simply uh, leveling up the each little uh, wires. Uh, I forgot how it's called, but yeah, each wire and uh, I'm hitting, I think, S or down or something like that. Anyways, it's really painful to do and I barely get anything out of it. Look at that because the maximum is what 99% resistance and 200% damage. So I have to sit there and do this for a long time. This one's done. It was easy and fun, and even workers can uh, do it for you. This one's also done. Oh, I remember this one a long time ago. I said, oh yeah, darkness is going to be the easiest. It's not that it's hard. I'm about to show you, but you see how far I am from the maximum. It's because the particles, see, I already found it, but it's so slow. I wish when you prestige, there was a way to make it faster. And look how much I get. 7200 and I need in the millions. If I'm lucky, sometimes I get quite a lot, but I would have to really sit there forever to max it out. And these two upgrades are useless and the one on the left is maxed out. This one was the easiest. I already mentioned that in the previous episode. Easy to do. This one, very neglected. I'm gonna have to look if I'm doing the right thing here. <laughs> I'm using auto harvest um, at Prestige once in a while. But I'm gonna have to Take my time and they give you clues for each plant. I might even look them up to max out nature. It's not going to be that bad. This might be updated one day. I hope they're going to make it more elaborate. Oh, I forgot to add. Anyways, let's keep going. And here, uh, halfway there. This is another one that takes a while. It's a lot of um, clicking around to leveling up everything, even though I have an auto clicker. I was about to say, I forgot to show you how many... Um, fabrics of reality I have. Oh, there you go. This is the meat of the video. I set that up for you. I'm going to show you the methodology I use because at the beginning I was really going, okay, I need this much for this item. It was so painful psychologically. So I decided to uh, use more brutal method that wastes a lot of mass, but that is pretty efficient. So I already made the 1000 green machines for each just to make it faster and what I do I exaggerate how much I buy I just blindly buy 10,000 or sometimes even 100,000 usually it's 100,000 on everything but for uh, tier 10 it's more expensive so I stayed at 10,000 so I'm buying 10,000 of everything completely blindly I don't even care 
and I'm wasting mass and I don't care. This way I can very fast scan everything instead of counting how many I need and it was so painful so I realized what am I doing? <laughs> so there you go, see how smooth it is. Blind. Now I will run out of something somewhere because usually, I, like I said, I buy 100,000. So I had to scan here. I'm just gonna take me a few seconds to find out the one on the left only has four left. But normally it's 100,000 of everything that I buy. So I never run out. Well, in this case I did, no big deal. I'm gonna buy this time 100,000. Completely overkill and I don't care because all I want is to be able to make eGem producers with a fabricator been waiting for this for a long time and remember this is 12 days ago I'm going to show you today as I'm recording this how many eGEM producers I have right now and how fast I can make them I'm going to have to invest a lot of resources in the factory if I want to make those producers faster so this is the second last machine you see how smooth it is and what I would do with the other mats that are not certain, I would just dissolve them after. Okay, so now all I have to do is scan them all. And the eGEM producer will appear. The very last thing to do. Now I need to make 1000 eGEM producers. There you go. So 1000 of each machine, right? And we'll see about the maths. Almost there, I was pretty happy about that. So I'm going to fast forward uh, the portion where I make the machines. So I'm going to get the recipe. Here's the recipe. So I got more than enough chips. It's just the blocks that I might be missing some. All right, let's do this. So I'll just go there, click 1000 and make 1000 of each. We're going to fast forward that. There you go. And that's it. And I can just see if I have enough mats. And the answer is no. I need more of those um, dense blocks. So let's make more dense blocks. Let's see how much I make. I forgot how much. 10,000, 100,000. Am I gonna really? <laughs> Completely overkill. I don't care. Who knows what MT15 and MT16 to MT20 will bring us in the late future. I'm going to keep those mats. It's all good. All right. So I scanned everything so I can make anything out of thin air, but I need mass. Now, I, I seem to have a lot, right? But I don't have that much. So I'm going to make as many EGM producers as possible. Just going to fast forward here because I was trying to decide how many I could make, but it doesn't matter. I could put a million and it will just uh, make them as I generate mass. I'll show you that later, just in case you've never seen this before. So right now I'm just producing a lot because I've accumulated mass, but eventually it's going to slow down by a lot. Okay, after a while, 13,000 eGen producers. That's what I was able to do with the mass that I had at the time. And you can see the number going up. And at the end of the video, you're going to see the progress I made in about 12 days. I'm almost running out of uh, mass and I need to produce way more than this. So I need to do runs to make money. So let's do it. So here is the most money I ever made. 1 E69, 1.28 E69. I chose this area because it was pretty bad, uh, pretty low. I want eight figures everywhere, as I said several times. I did not have eight figures on the beach, so I chose the beach. It's not the best place to farm, it doesn't matter. I gotta do every zone, so might as well hit two birds with one stone. There you go. Got a bunch of uh, skill points. I'll have to decide how to spend them. I decided to do it without recording. Just uh, not to show you the time I think, but I think I just went with um, arcade tokens. Look, that's how fast I'm doing them right now, in the clip at least, and I'm able to upgrade how much mass I'm generating. And that's the goal here, is really to push my mass generation to make the creation of those gems, the eGen producers, 
much, 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 much faster. Look at that. 100 million for the first time I reach nine figures infinity in uh, this area. So 5.65 E69 is once again a new record. Very long run, uh, no sound anymore. Same bug is still there. Eventually there's no sound when uh, the run is too long. So 100 million infinities. I got, I think, 500 trillion wave acceleration, if I'm not mistaken. And I could do even longer than this, we'll see. Um, but let's, let's go one step at a time. I'm not really here to beat records or things like this. Um, so even more, I got 66 skill points now. Infinity board, I'm just going to show my nine figure number 115 million i want to be in the billion if i do every difficulty on that stage i can reach billions if i did a super mega long one week run or something like that hoping that my computer doesn't crash or anything although it's pretty stable by the way i made a bunch of uh, red gem producers but i don't i read the resource producers but i don't think it's uh, worth it So here I'm going to try to level up this once again. And I am able to. But I wanted to keep some resources for the arcade as well. We'll look at the arcade also towards the end of the video. So I'm able to upgrade this and now it's going to cost me 2.9 E67. I could upgrade it again, but once again, I wanted to keep that for the arcade. So these are my worker. And now I'm, I changed something about mining asteroids. So there's four asteroids that are mined and I'm claiming the rewards. And I'm dissolving everything but uh, only a few things. So I'll show you what I mean by that. And it made a difference in terms of... Um, because in when you mine asteroids, you get more damage, more resources, and... Um, Something else, I forgot what it is. So 45 billion, 134,000 e-gens produced. By the way, this is today's footage, I forgot to tell you. Uh, and those are some producers that I got from asteroid mining, but I don't care about them. And now I'm going to burn this. I put 100,000 to be uh, produced and I stopped playing for a few days. So I'll put a million now. It doesn't matter how much I put, uh, but if I put enough, by the way, yeah, it's all the way up. If I put enough, I can't run out. Because uh, you could max out how much masts you have. So in this case, there's no damage done. Had I stopped playing for much longer, I would have maxed out my mass. And then, by the way, what does that times three mean? I really don't understand what it means. Please let me know in the comments. So we'll uh, wait until I run out of mass and see how fast I can make those producers. So this is my dissolving. So I dissolve everything but what's on the left. So that's the stuff I find on those asteroids. So this is how fast I can make EGEM producers. Not fast enough. I need to be faster. Okay, lucky will. We got all the rewards. 100%. And then Jumble, we still got a way to go, missing 50 of them. Got 214 cards. Adventure was revamped completely. Eventually I'll do a super run one of these days, but I want more tokens. I want more resources, arcade resources. I want more of everything. So one of these days I'll give you the mother of all runs for this. And that will be it. By the way, there's a lot of people watching my early videos. I don't know what happened. If you know, uh, please let me know. I mean, I'm really appreciative of that. But I noticed all my early videos, a bunch of people started watching them. Is it because uh, the game is available on more platforms now or something like this? I really don't know. Anyway, it's quite nice. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.